Hey, this is Matt from Investiquant. Today is Friday, June 16, 2023. Today is options expiration day. That's what we're going to be taking a look at this morning. What's happened historically, specifically on the June option expiration? So let me go ahead and get this set up using all four instruments. Our setup's based upon entering long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. Now for this study, we're going to use two pieces of information. We're going to use one from our calendar library. And that's going to be that today is within the month of June. I've got that selected here. The next thing I'm going to do is go to the market events library. And I'm going to say that today is options expiration day. That's right here in the active today section. It comes from our long list of uh, market events, which are events uh, that are the higher tiered events that take place throughout the uh, week. So I've got those two selected. Now I can click view results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern time when it is options expiration day in June. Historically, we've got 20 samples to look at dating back to 2003. Uh, the win rates on these are coming in weak S&P. 20% of these close above the opening print for the NASDAQ. It's 30%, Dow 30%, Russell 40%. Take a look at the average moves, average move to the downside larger in the S&P. That's also the case here in the NASDAQ, Dow, and Russell. So all four of these have bigger average moves to the downside. All four of them have win rates that are weak on the 20 samples that we have for the month of June. It uh, looks like uh, Russell, the strongest here at 40%. Uh, S&P the weakest at 20%. So overall, uh, been a fairly bearish day, historically speaking. Hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We will see you next time.